Blackberry. They have um, Ilhan Omar quoted as saying that Israel should not be allowed to exist as a Jewish state. Israel is not a democracy compared to Israel, Israel to Iran, which is the world's leading state sponsor of terrorism. I, I don't know what to really say about that, Barry. Um, that that is a crazy and bizarre statement. Um, how can she be able to s say these things, Barry, in this type of political environment and not be excoriated for this? This grossly anti-Semitic, anti-Zionist, anti-Israel statement that Israel can't be a Jewish state goes back to the founding of the Jewish state in 1948 for the express reason of allowing the Jews to return to their homeland after 2,000 years. Jews have been in what was Israel, and then the name changed by the Romans to Palestine to make it un-Jewish for a number of years, and then Israel again. 3,000 years they've been there, and it's their land, and it's always been their land, and if anyone reads the Bible, New or Old Testament or the Quran, all three books um, justify, explain, and dedicate that land to the Jewish people. So in the infinite wisdom of your very young freshman congresswoman from Minnesota, she is deciding on her own that it can't be a Jewish state because that would be racist. And I'll bet you anything she would be very uncomfortable in Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, uh, Jordan, uh, Turkey, Iran, because women don't speak out and they're not Congress people and they're not leaders. They walk behind their men and they look down and they're covered in a hijab. And quite frankly, she has more power, more authority and more ability to speak her mind in the United States or in Israel if she was there. And there are Muslim members of the Knesset, which is their Congress. Uh, in only one country, and that's in Israel. So I find her, her comments, um, besides being anti-Semitic, just politically and politically science, uh, unscientific, and nothing short of racist. And it's, it's sad, and uh, I hope your fellow <laughs> voters wake up in a year and a half and vote for somebody else next time so we don't have to go on your show in two years and explain why she got reelected. Yeah, you know, and... One thing that is uh, very scary, Barry, is that she's on the House of Foreign Affairs panel. OK, um, mm -hmm. I, I'm telling you, she she she's sticking her hands in very dangerous things, Barry. And then one thing I want to also point out is that while she was on the campaign trial, she did uh, deny her support for BDS. And as soon as she got elected Barry she admitted that she was always supported the anti-Israel boycott Omar's promise on the campaign trail that she was against BDS yeah uh, she went to a number of synagogues throughout your area and promised she'd be against it because it was against Israel and against American foreign policy and against American interests and then right after she was elected she said oh never mind I'm strongly in favor of BDS uh, my remarks were taken out of context. And sadly, uh, there are numerous transcripts of her various talks where she said what she said, but she's elected anyway.